All right, all right, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to the elect of Yasha Allah, the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukakudash, Brakatham, Kal Halal, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukakudash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach the nation of Israel well, as they are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. Peace, respect, blessings, and salutations to the Akim pushing this 100% gospel the world over. Risking their life for Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai says. Adwan Ratza, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And you know, at this moment in time, okay, really nothing is even surprising at all. Alright, when it comes to this devil, Esau Eden, okay, because as the time draws close to the return of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, all right, this man is just plotting and coming up with more and more devious, wicked inventions and schemes and experiments. Okay, and as we, you know, watching the prophecies unfold, okay, because right now they're not even speaking, they're shouting at you, you know. Right now, as we're seeing that, it's just clear and evident that the so called white man Esau Edom, his time is. Time is, re <coughs> is really cut short. Alright, and he's constantly being revealed and exposed. So, as you can see on your screen, endtimeheadlines.org has an article dated February the 4th, 2023. The hopeful year of all prophecies coming to pass. And the title reads Scientists have just created the first modular body, a living being that isn't alive. Okay. You know, and this devil, they've, they've cloned animals, okay, they've crossbred animals, animal DNA, plant DNA, all manner of organisms, living organisms, okay. Now, right, they're, they're trying to create a living being, really. That's the next step in this wicked, wicked plan. So it reads, biologist Cornelius Vlasman envisions the human body as a working biological Lego system <clears throat> and his clickable system of interchanging human organs is coming to life. If you are willing to define life fairly loosely and you are willing to suspend reality for a bit, in a fictional experiment, Vlasman created Oscar, a living organ organic being formed from his own cells albeit one that functions with the help of technology right and that's what Esau's trying to do with the sea hips as well okay merge man with machine all for control and monitor okay so really there's nothing it's nothing new it's part of his warped plan and it reads on and if having a pocket sized human system crafted from organic material wasn't interesting enough Oscar is fully modular Here's where you can start thinking Lego-like worlds with each part interchangeable to create unique ar arrangements. While this is sadly a sci-fi experiment, it's one that just might have legs and arms. Okay. <coughs> so it carries on. Oh, he, even, he even has a, a video about it. Okay, we can play that. We're looking at Oscar, the first human modular prototype that is able to live in various setups. What's going to happen is that I'm going to connect the brain to the heart module to activate the blood circulation. Now, the lung is going to start breathing. You can see both organs are now collaborating. I can add a kidney module. And if I add a limb module, it starts actuating the organism to move. Now it's looking for the optimal temperature, which is 37 degrees. If I add another limb, Oscar will recognize it and beneficiate from new possibilities. So 
what I'm talking about, man. This just pure wickedness, man. This is this is vexing, vexation to the spirit. Okay. Scripture says, "Let's say should he get advantage of us, for, your, for we are not ignorant." Right? Ignorant means to not know. Right? We are not ignorant of his devices. Okay. His, the Greek word for that is no, uh, noema. Okay, his evil thought, evil plans. Okay. And the question in this is that, where where's the soul and spirit? <laughs> where's it? Where's Esau gonna get the spirit from? Because we know that comes from the Most High, Yahweh Bashmi Okay. Because he has a serious God complex. All right. Let me get a preset. Really, that's just explained everything. Right, he wants to be like the Most High. All right, and create life and things like that. Now, this is the Book of Habakkuk, chapter two, and verse four. Behold, his soul. Talking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, right? It's unrighteous, right? It's wicked. It carries on. But the just, meaning the elect of the nation of Israel, shall live by his faith. Okay? Verse 5. Yea, also because he transgresseth, transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. And we know the Most High hates pride. Okay? Neither keepeth at home. Who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death. That's right, because wherever this man goes, he brings corruption, death, everything, wickedness. Right, he's the border of wickedness. Right, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Okay. So no matter what Esau does, whether he thinks he's improving um, society by, by his inventions, by his by his wisdom, which really it's not wisdom, it's not true wisdom, it's just wickedness on the left hand side, alright, whatever he thinks he, he comes out with, he thinks he's, he's benefiting the people, alright, really it's, it's distractions, it, it leads to death and destruction, okay, because nothing good's going to come of this, you know, people who, you know, are simple, right, because the scripture says the simple believe every, every word, okay, you know, people who are simple who, <clears throat> you know, don't research and look into things. Will look at this as like, wow, this is brilliant. All right, and jump for joy. All right, but we're not. All right, blind to things like this. Okay. Get another preset. All right. This is Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. You know, and that happened. You know, sixty-seven to seventy A.D. All right, we fell away as a nation. Okay, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, Esau, Edom. Verse four: Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God okay and again it goes back to that pride that God complex all right he's the one that always pushes forth right his agenda okay and believes that everyone else is beneath him all right always exalting himself you know claiming <coughs> that he's the father of this the father of all the sciences the father of medicine okay that they're the first explorer, things of that nature. Okay, that's Esau Eden for you. All right, but how about Shemuel Chai is going to cast him down? Let's go back to the article. You know, it's got some you know description on on the video that we just seen. In the video from a few years ago, recently unearthed by newsbreakers, Andre. Tapalaga of Blastman shows off how his brain module, which is a fully electric device, connects to his lung module. The two immediately start interacting together. He adds in a kidney module and then attaches two different limb modules that start actuating the organism to move. 
as the organic matter starts sliding across the table and makes you start to worry about Oscar or what Oscar is up to and what's actually possible in the future. Bassman saves this prototype with the bloodstream and nerve signals transmitted throughout the connectors changes the human body from a closed system to an open source system. If an organ gets ill, you can easily replace it with a new one. He says while suggesting you could upgrade the body with an extra limb module if desired. The modular body will become alterable and adaptable to all kinds of situations. The experiment shows off the power of stem cell research for morphing into human tissue, all while highlighting the interaction between technology and the human body. Okay, for Oscar to work it takes far more than just cells. As the modules in Vlasman's experiment require an electric brain to operate, instead of printing organs with the focus on identical copies for spare parts, maybe we can do something different altogether. Maybe we turn science fiction into reality. Okay, so you know that's fair aim. That's fair aim. Okay. Again, they're already, <coughs> you know, pushing forth, you know, that C hip. Right, to have that nurse's man, to have that implanted into the human body to track and control you. Alright. To know where you are, what you're doing, what you're eating, how much money you've spent, etc. Things of that nature. Alright. Is that seesaw eating even for you? So yeah, I'm just gonna <coughs> end this lesson right there. Didn't intend to make it long. You know, I just came across this article and it was on my script to go in it. Alright. So with that, I'm going to say Shabbat Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.